Hey everyone, it is Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you a brand new Android home screen setup that's going to make your phone look a whole lot better. So, let us begin. Great everyone, so like I said, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up a brilliant looking Android home screen. This one right here is titled Contour by the artist Tados XL and it looks phenomenal. It's three pages, each with their own very unique, vibrant color that look, stands out amazing whichever screen that you're on. So having a closer look, you can see that each one of these screens has quite a little needs icon set that looks amazing on each one of these screens. For the weather page, you've got each one of your weather icons as well as your weather information that looks really good. And next up over here, you've got your jump to shortcuts. For example, if you want to quickly get to the Play Store, you can just select that icon and it'll just quickly jump right there. You can, of course, configure each one of these accordingly. And you've got your music page over here that when you select the play button, it'll then start playing the music just like that. It's got your awesome little song progress bar there, your music information, and of course you can just select pause to get rid of it. So if you'd like to know how to set up this brilliant Android home screen, then let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. Starting off with the apps that you'll be needing, definitely will be a third party launcher. For example, I'm using Thema in this one for the simple fact that you can get three different wallpapers in one setup. You don't need any other app, it comes with Thema. You can also do this with SS Launcher. I'm not too sure what other launchers may also do this, probably Lightning Launcher as well. But with say Nova or Apex, you will have to use a third party app, for example, multi-picture live wallpaper. So just keep that in mind. And with Thema, it was a lot easier as you're pretty much just adding in widgets. Next up will be Media Utilities. If you want to get that music widget to be working, you're definitely going to be needing Media Utilities for that. And of course, Zupa Widget Pro. And I say Pro because you need the Pro version to import those custom widgets that you saw on the home screen. And last but not least, a good old File Explorer such as ES File Explorer. So what you want to do right now, you want to check in the link in the description below. It comes with the files necessary for this very setup. And all you have to do, it comes in a zip file, which means that you can either download it onto your computer, extract it using various file extraction software, and then copy it directly onto your phone, or just copy it directly onto your phone and extract it using, say, ES File Explorer. So as you can see, I've extracted it. Here it is, it's contoured home folder. And if I open it up, you can see it's got various files. Now you just want to copy the Zupa widget files, and you know that they're Zupa widget because they end in .z or .zw. You want to select all of them like that. You want to now select copy, go back into your main SD card directory or however your phone is set up. You want to go into your Zupa widget folder. And you want to jump into your templates folder and you want to just paste them like that. So applying all the Zupa widget files into that templates folder within the Zupa widget folder. That is your pretty much your Zupa widget setup done, well the background done. Next up you want to open up your media utilities as you want to select the overflow icon here. Obviously if it's not there that means that you have another device so you can just select your menu button at the bottom and you want to jump into your settings. Now you want to make sure that all of your application integration apps are enabled. I always just recommend enabling all of these because chances are you'll use one of them one of these days. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you want to make sure that these experimental features are also all enabled. For example, use alternative data collection, attempt direct control, make cover art available, as well as your send song progress. So make sure that those are all enabled. And also don't forget to have the latest version of Media Utilities installed. Now, once all that is complete, you want to go back now onto your home screen as you want to start deleting any apps or icons or widgets that you currently have on the home screen. If you're using Zupa, you can either just hold down on them like this, select remove, or you can drag them into the X at the top. You just need to hold down on them, drag them in like that. Great, so once everything is blank and you have completely blank screens, you can now jump into your launcher settings. Great, so for Thema, getting into your launcher settings is slightly different. You wanna hold down on your home screen and you wanna select advanced. And from here, you wanna select more. This brings you into your Thema advanced settings. Of course, if you say using uh, Nova Launcher, you just hold down on the home screen and select the little wrench to bring you up into your desktop settings and then select desktop from there. 
I'm gonna now select the desktop option here. And if you notice, I changed my grid size to a six by nine. It seemed to work out pretty well for my Nexus 5, as you saw earlier on. I'm not sure what the exact grid size is. For Thema, it might be slightly different. However, a nine by six seemed to work out pretty well for the author. But as always, it's entirely up to you. It's only widgets, so it is pretty flexible as to what size you'd like to change these to. But a six by nine worked well for me. So scrolling a bit more down, not too much else. You want to disable the notification bar. Remember that you don't need that one at the top. As well as if you go into your dock, you want to make sure that your dock is disabled. So make sure that those are all done. It's going to then probably change a few things within your home screen. Let it do its thing. As all we have to do now is to change this wallpaper. So as I mentioned, what's great about Thema, you can now have three different kinds of wallpaper all within the app. You don't need a third party app and you simply need to hold down on the home screen and select your home screens option right there which brings up this little neat box and from here you can change them accordingly make sure that multi wallpaper it should be defaulted if not make sure to change that first which will then allow you to add in screens accordingly say if you only had one screen you can just add in screens by selecting the plus like that but i'm going to leave it at three screens so if i select the first page select change wallpaper remember now we just copied that folder onto our phone so it just should pop up straight away within your recents tab and from here i can select the blue one or the the beige one or the red one depending on which page you would want where and now you can just select save no need to crop or readjust just leave it as it is and it'll apply it accordingly now you just have to do the same for the middle one you can just go select the red like that select save and then it'll save the wallpaper quick and easy do the exact same for the beige one right at the end so remember to have it on multi wallpaper add in the three screens change the wallpapers accordingly and then select apply it's going to now do its thing it's going to apply all the wallpapers so if you say using multi-picture live wallpaper you do it in a similar fashion however you just select your wallpapers look within your live wallpapers select multi-picture live wallpaper and do it accordingly so whatever is easier for you you just stick to that method Great, so we're almost there. We now wanna start adding in our various widgets. So we're gonna start off with this one right here. We're gonna hold down on the home screen, select widgets. You are welcome to use Zupa widget, but I'm gonna actually be using Thema Zupa widget, as then I can then save this theme for a later stage. So always remember that, as that is the main difference between Thema Zupa widget and the classic Zupa widget. So I'm just gonna drag mine to pretty much this size. It does look a bit weird as I'm making it so large and in the middle of nowhere or taking it up at the top but you can always adjust it accordingly so i'm going to do add these three as this is for the i guess you can call it the the apps widgets you're going to hold down select widgets once again i'm going to be adding three at the top for the simple fact that if i tap away now i can kind of see see switching pages i can kind of get the same level so it just makes my life a bit easier so i'm going to do that to the last one as well and then just make it pretty large Let's see, so that looks pretty good. So we're gonna test it out now. I'm gonna select this middle one. This brings up the Zupa widget configuration. I'm gonna jump into my SD card where my Zupa widget files are now kept. So I wanna select the Concert Apps one, this red one right here, as of course that'll be for the red page. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna tap away right now. Let's just see, it's a little bit too high up. So if I hold down on it, select resize, and then drag it down one, I think. I'm not too sure if that's too high or too low. It's a little bit confusing, but I think that looks pretty good. And we're gonna do exactly the same for the blue one. So I'm gonna go back into my SD card, look for the blue one, select it like that. Remember, I'm just gonna be adding them all just to get the sizing right. So I think that looks pretty good. And then for the last one, like that. So from now, we just need to add in the bottom widgets. So again, we're gonna hold down, select widgets, go back into your Zupa widgets, whichever one you prefer. Make it take up the entire bottom and then pretty much resize it so that it's just below these app icons. So I'm gonna select it once again. Let's see what this looks like. Go back into your SD card. You can now select the footers. So that's the one for the apps. And that looks pretty good. We're gonna do the exact same one for the music. The music one's the most important, I guess, as that's the one that comes with the music player. So we wanna get that one looking as good as possible. So we wanna open up again. This is all exactly the same process. There's not much that is involved here. As you can see, maybe if it's too high for you again, you can then resize it to be one down or one up. It's entirely up to you. But as you can see, I also just added in the weather right there and it all looks well and good. 
Now all you're left to do is to configure each one of these icons to open up your preferred application. So in order to do that, we just need to select anywhere around it. It's gonna bring up the configuration menu here. You wanna jump into your layout and then say for example, the clock, that one at the top there, you want it to open up your own application. For example, the, the default clock, you wanna to scroll to the widget on tap action, select module on tap. And from here, you can either use the Thema Zupa widget settings here. So if you scroll a bit down, you can see that it's got your default clock here. So whatever you change that to, just makes your life slightly easier. If you're going back and forth between themes, you don't have to keep changing it accordingly. But of course you can always just change it as yours. But, but of course you can always make it your standard apps. So I'm just gonna make it my standard clock. So you can leave it like that. And of course now you wanna do it to every single one of these icons. I can just go back and show you what the end result will be. Is now that I've configured that to be the clock, when I select that area, it brings up a clock, quick and simple like that. Once you've configured every single one of these widgets to open up whatever application that you desire, you wanna now select this area middle here and you wanna go into your widget on tap action. This is for the general setting. And of course you want to now make this disabled so that'll prevent you from opening up any apps or opening up this configuration menu every time you select this area and of course you can change your notifications to display whatever notification count you desire remember if you're not too sure you can always use tasker for that and check in the link in the description below on how to use tasker variables within zuper widgets so that's it that completes this tutorial so thank you very much guys for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll answer them as soon as possible if you enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the my color screen channel if you haven't already also don't forget to check out my color screen's official one click theming launcher that you've seen before you here titled thema you can get it free from the google play store and as you can see there are tons and tons of themes that you basically need to click on and then click apply and it just applies it within seconds so you definitely want to go and check it out so other than that it is marco here from the my color screen channel and as always don't stop customizing